On the Monterey Peninsula, meantime, a number of state uh, beaches and regional parks are still open for the Easter weekend. Tonight, Action News reporter Alani Latang outside Garland Ranch Regional Park on why officials have yet to make the call to close. Here at Garland Ranch and other Monterey Peninsula parks, the supervising ranger tells us that people have been in compliance with safety protocols, so there isn't a need to close just yet. And these parks are trail focused, so not really a place where large groups can gather. I feel that it is absolutely imperative to have a nature park like this open. It's big enough to accommodate a lot of people without having to be in, in, in any tight knit situation. Those are the situations that force Monterey County supervisors to temporarily close county parks for Easter weekend. Not on the list, Bureau of Land Management Parks and Trails, State Beaches, and Monterey Peninsula Regional Parks. Where we differ from the county is that we do not provide large group gathering sites, barbecue areas, and the such. So what we provide are trails. What we are seeing in our parks is compliance. When I cross somebody on the bridge, they pull away from me to the other side of the bridge. We ran into a woman last week who, as she was approaching us, she said, hey, I just treated a COVID patient this morning and uh, keep your distance. So, of course, that's all we needed to hear. The regional park system includes Garland Ranch, Palo Corona, Frog Pond, Wetland, and Marina Dunes. State parks and beaches remain open with car access closed off. Those include Pfeiffer Big Sur, Garapada, and Point Lobos, with a reminder to not road trip to these destination spots. The more the better. Keep it open, for sure, so people can exercise, get fresh air. And as long as they social distance six feet apart, and everyone seems to be doing that here, and um, so I think it's a good thing. Otherwise, we get depressed and lonesome. Several hikers saying we hope we don't get there for everyone's sake. Especially a place for uh, take your kids. You need to get the kids out of the house with some fresh air in a safe environment. These trails are monitored daily. Therefore, closing the park could happen if people aren't in compliance. Reporting in Carmel Valley, I'm Alani Latang, KSBW Action News 8. <laughs>